What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ad Mentality Road. If you can notice, my voice is a little off. I'm under the weather. I've been sick for about four days now, but the show must go on. I'd much rather be in bed, sleeping, taking my meds, but I got to read off the list of Ad Mentality. All right, so this is the predictions for, or I'm sorry, not the predictions, the results. See, I can't even think straight right now. The results and my thoughts on Roadblock end of the line. Uh, first things first, I lost the predictions championship right here. Hold on. Coming back. I'm not gone. I didn't die. I lost the predictions championship to Mr. Kid Jalisco21. Congratulations to you, sir, on your victory. I didn't even come close to winning. I guess that's why I like wrestling so much because I can't predict them for squat. Uh, but thank you for watching the video. I'm going to show you the video right now. We're going to continue. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you thought of the pay-per-view. I'll let you know what I thought right now, but you let me know in the comments. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do it. If you have, thank you. You're the reason why I get to make these videos. All right. So the first match we had on the kickoff was Rusev versus Big Cass. I predicted Big Cass and Rusev were going to go back and forth, and Enzo was going to come out and interfere. But Enzo came out with Big Cass at the beginning, so it kind of threw a wrench in the system. And they went back and forth, but it ended up being just a count out because Big Cass could get back in the ring in time, which I thought was a lame way to end it. So that means this rivalry is, of course, going to continue on further. So Rusev wins by count out. Not a great way to win. But I say it protects Big Cass and Rusev because nobody actually lost. They didn't give up or pin. All right, we got New Day versus Cesaro for the Tag Team Championship, and we have and New tag team champions in Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, I really thought this was kind of a stinky wait for them to lose because you wait for them to beat the record, then as soon as you get a chance, then you take it from them. It, it builds up no prestige to it. It's like, so everybody's like, oh, okay, you clearly just want a new day to beat the record and then go on with the story. You could at least let them have it for another month or two to be, build up suspense because right now it's like, all right, now nobody really cares. Uh, the move of the match was, of course, when Cesaro was going to get tagged, and he moved his hand. It says Sheamus went to tag him, but he didn't actually tag him. So when Kofi kicked Cesaro, he thought he was pinning the legal man, but he's actually pinning the illegal man. So Sheamus comes up, pins Kofi, and they win. And at the end of the match, they had Cesaro going, yay! And then the Sheamus lifted up the hands, everybody's like, boo! And Cesaro's are clearly the face, and Sheamus is the heel in this tag team. We're going to see how they make this work. Maybe it'll be like Daniel Bryan and Kane, and they'll finally get over. Um, second match, we have Braun and Zayn. Once again, a little more confusion because I thought Sami Zayn had to beat Braun Strowman in 10 minutes or he lost. But apparently, it was if he lasted 10 minutes, then he won. So I, of course, did not get that point in predictions because clearly Braun was beating the mess out of, shame, uh, out of Sami Zayn. Sorry, can't think straight. So... I said, Braun was beating the heck out of him, and then Mick Foley comes out to like, throw in the towel, and Sam was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Then Braun gets distracted, he almost gets counted out, and then at the end, Sami Zayn looked like he was actually going to win, and then he ran out of time. But we all know Sami was not going to win because Braun was beating the heck out of him. Fourth match, we got Jericho and Rollins. This match was kind of back and forth, nothing special about it, until Kevin Owens came out to interfere, and then Jericho was like, what are you doing, what are you doing? Kevin Owens leaves, and then tri uh, no, Triple H. Seth Rollins pedigrees Jericho for the win. So then you got Jericho really mad at Kevin Owens. Uh, fifth match, the match that should not be on the card. I think they should keep this to 205 and get rid of them on Raw because I'm tired of seeing the cruiserweights. Sometimes it's cool, but for the most part it's not because they keep flipping and flopping all over each other. And like I see there's one part where TJ Perkins goes up in the, the, the ropes and just kind of hanging out there for a little bit. And like, okay, now you throw somebody and I'll move. And I don't know, it's just... There's no story to it, it's just a bunch of gymnastics, so I'm, I'm really over the cruiserweights. But uh, Rich Swan retained, and uh, then Neville came out, that was the big part. Neville came out, like, oh, cool, Neville's back, and he starts beating up the good guys. So clearly Neville's a heel. You can see Brian Kendrick just chilling in the bottom of the corner, just like, uh, I'm a bad guy, don't mess with me. So Neville beats up the good guys in Rich Swan and TJ Perkins and leaves. So there's a little more story to that, but once again, Neville is not the most exciting person Storyline wise, I mean, he's, he's got great moves. Seth Red O is fantastic, but I'm really not digging the cruiserweights. Never have, never will. Uh, then we got Charlotte versus Sasha for the 30 man Iron Man slash woman match. Uh, 
It took them 20 minutes in the match to finally get some kind of pinfall, and then it finally got 2-2. Two -two. Time ran out, then it had to do a tiebreaker, and Charlotte won. So Charlotte continues with her pay-per-view streak. Like she said, she said that she's the undertaker of the women's uh, division now, which is kind of a scary look for her. Um, I'm glad that rivalry is over. Hopefully Charlotte can go on to Bailey or somebody else, and Sasha can go on to whoever she's going to fight. Uh, people were very upset that Sasha did win, but she's too small. She gets hurt a lot. I can see why Vince McMahon wouldn't want to put the title on her too much. She's like the Daniel Bryan of the women's division. And for the last match, we had Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. My first results show with the Universal Championship. If you don't have it yet, I highly recommend you getting it. Uh, once again, there's nothing really too fantastic about this match. Just a bunch of back and forth, back and forth. Like, like okay, we're waiting till the end to see what happens. If Triple H is going to come out or Jericho is going to come out. And Jericho did come out. He came out. Uh, kind of like Roman Reigns, I believe, was laying down on the ground. And Kevin Owens was off to the side. And Jericho was looking at Roman Reigns. And you know whenever someone's looking at someone and there's someone behind him, you know they're going to turn around and hurt him. And, of course, Jericho turns around, gives Kevin Owens a code breaker. So Kevin Owens wins by disqualification. Jericho and Kevin Owens, I guess, are friends now again, which is good. Get to see where this goes on Monday. But that's about it. Uh, Pay-per-view all together. i got to give it a C-. minus. It wasn't that great. I said, uh... I don't know, a lot of weird swerves in this pay-per-view. Like I said, I don't know if Dusty Rhodes is telling them how to how to predict these matches after death. I don't know how they're doing this, but like I said, we got, we got count outs, we got interference, we got confusion, we got interference again, we got all kinds of stuff. But that's about it. Let's like I give it a C minus. Ever since they came out of the network, the pay-per-views have really suffered. I said, it's just kind of like an amplified Raw. And like I said, you get to see Raw for free, so there's really no reason to get the network. WWE needs to figure out what they're doing because even myself, I'm thinking about getting rid of my subscription because there's no reason for it anymore. I can just watch it on Raw now. That is my thoughts on the show. Uh, once again, like I said, I lost the predictions. Uh, Kid Alisco 21 is due a punishment, and we're going to figure out the punishment next Friday or Saturday with this bad boy. This is my latest invention. It is the Wheel of Punishment. Ooh, it spins. So we're going to spin this and put some numbers on here. We got 12 spots. We got 12 punishments. And let's say Kid Alisco 21 is going to spin one for, I can't remember the name of the pay-per-view where he lost. And then I got to spin it because I lost this pay-per-view because this was a weird pay-per-view. I didn't even come close to winning. So we'll put those videos up, line, up online, let you see them, check them out. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Sorry for my voice being gone. Like I said, I am suffering right now like you wouldn't believe uh like comment below subscribe please subscribe we're getting uh, thank you so much for everybody that subscribed in the last week or so ever since i got the universal title it's been on fire and kind of like my head right now and that's it hope everybody has a great night peace